just found this just so stunning. It's a fairly innocuous story. A reactor at the Millstone nuclear plant in Waterford, Connecticut. And I remember that nuclear plant well, actually. I went to uh, college right around there. And uh, the cooler students who would live off campus, of which I was not one, uh, would all <laughs> rent like these nice houses on the water, but it would overlook, literally overlook the nuclear power plant. Because uh, it tends to bring down the rental values, I guess. <laughs> Has been shut down of, uh, because of something that in the 1960s, and I should say this, this piece is from the New York Times, written by Matthew L. Wald, something in the that its 1960s designers never anticipated. The water in the Long Island Sound was too warm to cool it. Under the reactor safety rules, the cooling water can be no higher than 75 degrees. On Sunday afternoon, the water's temperature soared to 76.7 degrees, prompting the operator to order the shutdown of the 880-megawatt reactor. Temperatures this summer are the warmest we've had since operations began here at Millstone. The plant's first reactor, now retired, began operation in 1970. Now, this should come as little surprise. July was the hottest July on record in the United States. The water from the sound is uh, piped into the plant to absorb heat from pumps and other pieces of equipment. As the sound's temperature inched upward this summer, Dominion Power received permission from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to measure it at three locations instead of one and to calculate the average in the hope that it would be lower. Contemplate this for a moment. Safety regulations say if the water you're pumping in to cool off this nuclear reactor is above 75 degrees, it's dangerous because it's not going to have the cooling effects as it should. So what do they do and what are they allowed to do by the regulatory agency? devise another plan in which to measure the temperature of the water. So instead of the water just coming right in, we're going to measure it over there. We're going to measure it over there and here, and we'll take the average. I, I don't know why they didn't just go, well, wait a second. Any chance we can measure the water temperature up in a gunkwit main? and the water temperature up near Greenland, and the water temperature that's coming into the reactor, and then average that one. It's a stunning, <laughs> that in and of itself should have been the story. But apparently that did not help on Sunday. The sound's temperature usually does not peak until late August. So it could get even warmer. Eventually, engineers could change the Milford reactor's uh, intake pipe so it draws water from further below the surface where temperatures are lower. They could also sharpen their pencils and try to determine whether the plant can operate safely with cooling water above 75 degrees, but neither is a short-term project because you need to get those pencils very, 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 very sharp. In other words, decrease the margin of error. The story goes on to say that power plants in the Midwest have also experienced problems as temperatures have soared in recent weeks. In some cases, reactors shut down because the cooling water was too warm. In others, the ongoing drought had shrunken the body of water from which the cooling water is drawn. The plant's intake pipes were above the surface. Uh, and that's basically the piece. But you know what's missing, missing from this this piece, we've got the who, that would be the reactor, right, and the people involved in trying. We got the when, that took place on Sunday. We got the what, that is that the temperature became too warm. Uh, the temperature of the water coming in is too warm. We got the where, it was in uh, Connecticut, just uh, around the corner from where I used to party as a kid. <laughs> 
We got the how. Well, the temperature in the water went too high. That's how. But what seems to be missing from this is the why. No mention of July being the hottest month in the history of this country, or at least the measurements. No mention of that thing. Uh, what, what's that thing that's happening that's causing stuff to get w warmer? There's something. Let me see if I can think about what it is. Warming. Oh, I, I know what it is. It's that made-up thing by that fat guy with the airplane about global warming. It's just stunning that this guy doesn't bother to mention it in this piece. You couldn't have just said, uh, you know, drop a uh, pencil sharpening and just gone directly to the point and said they may recalculate what the plant can hold and also global warming. I, I, it's just stunning. And meanwhile, this guy was one of the writers on a uh, piece back in July, weather extremes leave parts of U.S. grid buckling. And again, the only mention of global warming in this much bigger piece is that many federal agencies have officially expressed a commitment to plan for climate change. That's it. And people wonder why people aren't more concerned about uh, global warming. Because somehow, just mysteriously, for the first time in 42 years of operation, this plant is finding that the water, even when they calculate it from three different locations and average it together, is suddenly too warm. So much for the why in this reporter's story. 